Okay, on this demonstration what I'm going to show you is how to add the uh, next server option into your Monowall config uh, so that you can have a TFTP server if you need it for things like the uh, Grandstream phones, the Polycom phones or the Cisco phones so that uh, you can tell the phone where to look for its firmware or its uh, configuration uh, file um, etc. Uh, Manual will be putting this uh, option in the um, DHCP uh, web GUI uh, part of the uh, uh, administration um, in the for upcoming future um, but for the time being you'll have to actually add it to the uh, XML um, configuration so what we're going to do is log on to our monowall box uh, via the IP address uh, which is 1.100 and log into it and mono um, what, once we're in the um, the the web GUI, what we have to do is we click on uh, Diagnostics, and then we click on Backup Straight Restore, and we're going to download the configuration, and I'm just going to save mine to the desktop, and there we go. What you'll need to open this file with is uh, you can either open it with uh, notepad or you can uh, or I open it with uh, XML marker um, if you just do a quick Google search for XML marker uh, it'll uh, it'll pop up so what I'm going to do is load uh, XML marker up there we go and I'm going to load the config from our mono wall box there we go and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to scroll down on the uh, this left hand side uh, for, till we find the DHCP there we go and we're just going to expand this and there we go so we can see the uh, the entire uh, configuration for our DHCP and what you'll need to do is uh, under where it says range uh, we'll have to add a um, as uh, the next server option. So what we do is I'm just going to copy this from my other configuration file and we place it just here. So we place it there. And there we go. And that's how we uh, add it in. So in here you can put your uh, TFTP server and then uh, any, uh, like I say, if any Cisco phones or Polycom phones, etc., need to find this server, um, then uh, the Monowall box will give out the, uh, give them an IP address, give them the DNS server, and then give them the TFTP server, so it can actually find the server to download its configuration files or its uh, its up updated firmware or anything like that. So we should now see on this side that it's added the uh, next server option there we go yep so that's added it in so what we're going to do is save this uh, config there we go save that and then we're just going to uh, close off the XML marker program and we're going to upload the changed or modified configuration file so we'll click on uh, browse And then on the desktop, we just find the uh, the configuration file that we've just edited. So there it is, and click open, and then click on restore configuration, and then it will say uh, the configuration file has been restored and the firewall is now rebooting. Uh, this will take around about uh, a minute, probably uh, two minutes, uh, depending on your system. Um, but once it's uh, booted up, uh, you should then uh, be able to plug in a uh, a Cisco phone or a Polycom phone or anything that needs a uh, TFTP server or the next server option and uh, it should be able to pull down the configuration files so that's how you do that hope you've enjoyed this uh, little demonstration on how to add the TFTP server stroke next server option in the Monowall config